because I I never know what to expect when I go to shows. I get they have these funny names and Harold Schlitzel, <laughs> Mario Barcho. Always have show in the title. And so a few years ago, um, April 2009, I'll never forget it. For the first time, I was invited to a, a German TV show. It wasn't with show, but it was called Schlag den Rat. <laughs> and so. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the show, but they, you know, I was like, you know, in Belgium, I, I, I never really watched a lot of television, but I definitely didn't really know the German TV shows. I said, hey, yeah, it's, it's a very big show. Uh, it's not even every week, not every month. Uh, it's like, wow, special show. And so they told me, you know, it's a long show, but there's three music artists every, every time. So, and that day, uh, when I arrived, there was three acts, and one of them was from Germany, Silbermond. And, uh, and then there was Lady Gaga, who was singing Poker Face. And now we all know Lady Gaga, but then, you know, she was just on her way to become, you know, a superstar. And then there was me. <laughs> My love for Belgium. And, uh, I was like, oh, right. So I could play my song, I could play AI Technology, and it was the first time I, uh, you know, that I played it on television in, in Germany, and I was having a really good time, and you know, I was like, you know, looking at Lady Gaga from, you know, when she was performing, she had all these dancers, and they did this like, and it was like a DJ poker face, I was like, wow, it was just me with my guitar, I was like, mm. so uh, a little bit of a difference, but I was like, you know, Lady Gaga, she got potential, maybe our careers will develop simultaneously, you know? I was like, we can become famous together at the same speed. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, I noticed already that there was something uh, different with Lady Gaga because uh, we were staying at the same hotel, Silbermont and uh, Lady Gaga and, and me and, and, you know, with her it was like half of the hotel was like her crew. You know, assistants, hairdressers, makeup artists, assistants of the assistants of the assistants. A lot, a lot of people, and I just had my tour manager. Like, yeah, from the, so that was sort of how we do it, you know. And um, the thing is, a few months later, because a few months later, uh, I was like invited for the first TV show in France, and it was a TV show called Taratata. And so you noticed already, you know, in, in Germany, Harald Schmidt Show, Schlag and Rap. In France, ta -da -da -da. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, it's a different uh, different language. And so it was the same, a little bit the same thing for me. You know, uh, there were some French artists singing in French, uh, some local people, that, and then there was Lady Gaga again, <laughs> and then there was me, Milo from Belgium. And uh, basically, uh, Lady Gaga, she she I don't know, I think. She, she left her dancers in the hotel, and she played just on the piano this time. And uh, you know, it's a it's a show where everyone is you know enjoying the live music. And I think a lot of people thought Lady Gaga she's just dancing and playback, but she was singing for live, and she was doing stuff on the piano that I've never seen before. She was like standing up and like you know, standing and and you know being an acrobat and then still singing. It was crazy. And basically, I remember standing in that show and watching her, and everyone was like. Watching her like she was like some alien, and everyone is really enjoying her performance, except for one person, me. <laughs> because I had a funny feeling, basically. I was standing there like, is she following me? <laughs> because for me, you know, a few months before it was like a rap, and ta -ta -ta, she's there again. I was like, uh, this can't be coincidence, you know. But. I thought, you know, I'm going to confront her backstage, I'm going to tell her. Um, the problem was there was too many bodyguards guarding her, uh, her room, so I never really got in and, I don't know, I, I let it go. I just wanted to talk about, you know, her following me and how we could, you know, you know find a solution because it was making me feel a little bit unsafe. But the good thing is, I never really got a chance to talk to her and so I actually forgot about the whole thing until two weeks ago. So before this tour started, uh, I was in, uh, in New York for the first time doing some concerts with Priscilla Ann. I was playing before her every night and uh, was really having a good time. And uh, the last night, I, I will never forget it, we, you know, we're like checking, I don't know, someone said like behind the computer like, hey Lady Gaga's playing here tonight. <laughs> and it was because Sting, you know, Sting the singer from the police, he was, it was his 60th birthday. And so, he was, he was performing on his birthday, but of course I knew like, 
what the reason was she was performing <laughs> the same night as I was, of course. So uh, this next song is basically my message to her because I'm not scared of Lady Gaga. So uh, this is this next song. I'm going to uh, mail it to her and, and just because we really need to sit down and talk about her following me all the time. <laughs> 